What do you have there, Todd? I don't know. It just came, and it says TNT News, and it's Todd only to open. And I don't like the sound of it. <gasps> Maybe it's a new clock for the wall. Do you think it's a new clock for the wall? It's ticking. Could be a clock. I put that affect it. No, it's not ticking. Uh, let's see. A gift for you. Hi, TNT. Enjoy your gift from Lee Bartholomew. He has sent us so much stuff over the years. Well, after seeing too many mugs, thought you could use this either at home or at TNT to show off the most used ones. I think the hooks are better on this one. The most used ones. The most used mugs? Can you move the box so we can see what it and is? Look, there's even things to hang up. We will have to find a place to hang this. The most used mugs. Look at that. Good sturdy hooks. Very nice. Thanks, Lee. Lee, are you excited about today's video? Because I sure am. We have a very rare joust cocktail table. Or as shall I say, a cocktail that we're going to show you. One of only 500 made. And uh, we're going to go into details of that. But because I have to film this as opposed to who shows up, my volunteer's here. Paulie is here. He used to serve as pizza at Pizza Hut before they closed. And now he comes in and helps us. And I got Walt to help and Ed. And they've all filmed this footage that you're going to see. Uh, if you want to skip right to Joust, which some of you may want to, here is the minute mark. It starts. But we have a couple minutes first of a Super Checks that look like brand new that just went out. A Grand Lizard, uh, almost finished, going to this guy who's been waiting patiently. And then we go into the Joust. Uh, after that, we have a Cue Ball Wizard from the Bargain Basement. And I'll see you back here in a minute. Paul, it's as smooth as can be. You know, sold this brand new Paul. They had it in their house. They, I, I don't think they hardly used it. It was like brand new. You know, Todd. Yes. They say that the camera adds ten pounds. There yes? must there must be forty cameras on you right now. Oh, God. Let's see if I can beat. I'm winning, Ed. I'm winning. Yes. You need two people to play this. Anyway, we are shipping this to Indiana. Uh, the thing is like brand new. It looks like it just came out of the box. Uh, we have uh, the this bolts together with holes up here. So when he gets it, we're going to ship it assembled. He will take these, bring the camera, bring the wing nuts down, the, the camera down. You see these nuts down here where I'm pointing at? Yes. Can you see them for the camera? Yes. Good. They're Allen screws, so you'll change those. You'll take those out. This lifts off and unplugs. So you just have to make sure that when they unplug it, they're very careful. They don't pluck it up the wrong. Is Second period, here we go. Oh, let me show you. Let's pack in. Get up. This is getting the treatment, the royal treatment. So we're putting all new artwork on it. But I'm only gonna leave the old crappy light bulb. In. I'm not giving him a new bulb. These are expensive. Right, Paul? Yes, extremely. He gets the old crap. I get the dollar store. We'll have to check back on that. Uh, you may have to put the side art on that, Paul. Okay. No, I'll do It'll it. It'll come crooked. I'll do it. I'm not useless. 
Well, that's debatable. My wife thinks I am. And guess what's almost done? You're gonna see this tomorrow. Oh, we just sold this bargain basement. This is gone. <coughs> A first look at the Grand Lizard. Got in the new display system, LED. Look at how we changed this here. I'm pretty happy with what what we did. I think Walt did work on this with the buttons that's coming along. Well, you saw it earlier, but it's almost done. Now all we have to do is put in the uh, lighting in the back, and oh, we have, to, we have new artwork coming to the head. That's it. I have a rarity to show you, and Frank came in. He volunteered to come in and do the final touches on it. We had done a lot of work to this uh, internally, and he said I can finish it up for you, which I'm glad he did because we're trying to get this cocktail out to Richard May. He is the man that sent it to us for us to go over electronically. We didn't do anything with the graphics. The graphics are beautiful. Frank, the original glass is almost perfect. It just has a few scratches in it. This is a special tempered glass. We have it on a table. This cocktail, they only need 500 of them. And that amount was verified too. 500 cocktails as opposed to 26,000 uprates. But this cocktail is just a, it, the cabinet's a work of art. I wanted to share with you some things about it. When you open up the coin door here, it just has a single slot. The door is reminiscent of the joust cocktail uh, pinball. It has the same panel here, see? And now we, we, we put LEDs in here instead of the light bulbs. It came in with light bulbs. The test buttons are right inside here. Okay. And then this is the memory protect switch and then your volume control here. Okay. Now down below, it has the same system that the Defender cocktail, Defender and, cocktail, uh, and Stargate cocktails have. Your cash pan, cash pan there. Very nice. Now Richard lives in England, and he sent this here because he wanted us to go over it, not only go over it, but also um, to wire it for 220, which Frank was able to do. But before we did that, we went through the machine carefully. This goes up, and look, it holds up by means of this. This helps lower it, and it can stand up, and this keeps the top from falling over. To unlock it, see I wanted to show you this mechanism for unlocking. Isn't that nice? No key. Also, for the back door, no key. Just like the, the Stargate Defender, these lift up and Defender Cocktail Williams. And I think Make Tracks was the same one. If they made uh, bubbles or not. Now we took the control panels out and cleaned the switches. The switches were actually dirty. So we cleaned them. Got them nice and clean, and then we put LEDs in here. Uh, let's see. Is this the one for there? Yeah. yeah. You can see a little of the light over here. There's just two bulbs in here. But we put the super bright LEDs, so in the dark room, it'll look nice. It was definitely brighter than the 44s. Uh, everything looks so nice and new. When he bought this machine, I think the guy, I'm going to guess he had virtually no use. We're going to hang, Richard, the hook for the lower door right here. See the factory hook? Turn off the game before opening the tabletop. Okay, take care not to touch the CRT or cut your fingers at the coin door latch beside the near right tabletop latch. The coin door latch. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. To lift the tabletop, open the two latches. Be careful not to touch that. I had to do it when I said that. Frank, did people laugh? Did I shock anybody? See, we can unplug our control panels to make adjustments. The original stickers are still there. Richard, you got yourself a really good deal here, I think. You know, I shipped, somebody converted one of these 
to a fighting game. I shipped it. Frank, were you here when we had that? We shipped mm. it to Florida. It was, and they were going to convert it back to a joust. I wonder how they made out. Now, just like all their doors, there's a nice little catch here so the door doesn't flop down right in front of you and break off. This opens up like this and lays flat for service. We took the 4900 out and recapped it. That's a marvelous chassis. Uh, the 4900 is a great monitor. The 7000 has a better, slightly better picture. But the 4900 flyback never goes bad, it seems. Just never. Where the 7000 uh, fails quite often. So I guess I'd probably rather have the 4900. Now, Frank has made our 220 stickers. Um, it is converted. The original connector is here. Frank left it for the old power supply. Who wants that old power supply, even if it is rebuilt, when you can put a nice, beautiful computer control one with a fan, nice quality, steady voltage? Frank uh, also took the soundboard, which is way back there, way back there. He took that out and put new capacitors in it. Also, he had to change the fuse block. That was bad. It's not existing. Oh, oh, wait a minute. There was no fuse block. Nothing. Pointer lights. And... Oh, that's because... Oh, come on. Okay. It's your first day? The fuse block was on the power supply. I'm sorry. I'm so stupid. Well, try to do better. <laughs> um, look. See that? That means this board will never, ever go bad. I would say the board has a 99% survival rate, and here's why. Frank has put the triuricon pins, that's the square pins instead of the wretched little round pins. These are the wretched round pins, okay? Okay, and this thing just barely makes contact. They're fine, but for voltage, for power, you need this. Triuricon, quality, solid connection, brand new power supply, providing our board with perfect voltage. A new ribbon cable here. Frank actually found a bad ROM on the board. Which one was it? Do you remember which number? Oh, I know. It was this one, right? Nope. I was looking at the color. Oh, it's this one with a zigzag. Nope. It wasn't that either. These are the green uh, ROMs. Is it the red ROMs too? Is that the first run? Frank, yellow, do you remember? Yellow. Okay, I don't remember. Anyway, uh, we also took the boards out and then he uh, uh, did his usual magic. You can also notice he put a new plug in here. <clears throat> so that's new. That is your sound. So I guess the other one was ratty, Frank? Uh, somebody changed it, but it was hacked. It had piss poor crimps. And he had two halves of a connector instead of one connector body. So that's been squared away for good. Frank, I notice when you do conversions, you always use the same braided wire Williams does, mm -hmm. because this this means everything is nicely grounded. And as a matter of fact, look. I don't want is. you to touch it. I don't want your Coronas. Oh touch it. Touch it my hand. Corona! And I ran it on the hair too. Good. So he's got the so Corona. I it across the Corona right wire. here. Oops. So that's what you added to make sure Mr. Power Supply is also grounded. And to make sure the connection between the two points, because the plate used to do that. Yes. Oh yeah, the big metal plate that oh, was yeah. there. That's gone. <clears throat> Trash. That's gone. Now, Un Williams put a universal worldwide power supply in it, so Frank just had to re-jumper it. <clears throat> uh, also, we're leaving this in simply because the game is so original and it would be foolish not to leave that in. Anyway, look, right here we're going to swing this up and engage it. Slide it in game goes on. We'll lift this up, engage it, locked in, lower it. Okay, then we'll come up here, we'll engage it, locked in, lock it, hang the hook, close the door, and shut it. This will give Richard access to his machine. That lock was on it when it came in. Now, the owner put this button on, inexplicably why, since it has a free play setting. However, we left it there. 
and left the game on coin. Oh, wait a minute, this screw has to be tightened. Why is that loose? Hmm. It got missed. Anyway, that's fixed. Fixed. Okay. Oh, and lastly, most important, because the cord was bad, Frank has installed a new giganto cord. Uh, I want to tell you oops, that <laughs> you can buy this enormously long cord, cheap, from Pinball Research. It's the flat one. When you hook up your cord, the ribs here means it's the neutral. The unrib side is the power. So when you make your connection, the ribs go to the white wire or the longer, uh, the wider pin on your socket. So the ground is needed, but Richard, it's 220, 110 on each side, and the center is the ground over in England. Perfectly safe, but that's how they do it there. Now we did take the varistor out because it's only rated at 120 volts. And I put a one amp fuse in as part of manual. And a one amp fuse. Got to lower the fuse rating. Just in case. Well, no, it's got to be lower fuse rating. Now, the question rating. is, will they ever make a joust cocktail hallmark ornament like this? Hmm? Will they, Frank? I don't know, but if they make one, will your little keepsake ornament just be laying back here on the bench for two weeks? I can't get it to turn on. You broke it. It did work. I don't know. I remember what turned it on now. Same thing with at home, huh? Don't remember what turns it on? I thought it was the front button. Maybe not. Unless somebody wore the batteries out there, kept playing it. It's a cute little thing. It even lights up the fender on the screen. No, it doesn't work, Frank. Like all the games just so. Some present. We'll fix it later. Well, did you learn something with our joust? Look at that gorgeous picture, Frank. Ooh, the monitor's nice. He's probably has never been played. Yes, Python Angela's uh, masterpiece. Yes. It's a beautiful game. I remember when this came out new. Ooh, it made a lot of money. It did. But just like all the games of this era, the money just suddenly stopped. That was the end of it. That's why this guy game got, not this one, but that's why the one we had in was converted to a fighting game. But I wish I could remember what that was. It was before we were making these videos. So, I really thank you for the good in. days. Thank you for coming in and finishing it. Yeah, Walt's actually weeks. here. Walt's actually here. There's my Walt. We're finishing up a Cubo Wizard. Another bargain basement that sold. However, he didn't pay bargain basement. He said, please finish it. So we finished the play field. Tomorrow, uh, we are going to um, uh, do the cabinet. So that has to get done. I wanted to show you something. I should have showed you it before. Uh, all Gottlieb's around this edge always discolor. And it's usually from hands or stuff. This has all been buffed clean. It's a wheel that you can put in your power drill. And you can very carefully buff all this so it's nice and shiny again. We also buffed this too. So what else we've been buffing lately? Frank, everybody misses your stupid humor. Don't we miss his stupid humor? Of course. Now, of course, the, the overhaul the um, uh, included this beautiful backlash uh, new overlay. Oh, cool. That's great. That made them dumber for having listened to whatever that rambling was you just said. I said we changed the overlay. Back. That's not what you said. You're like, this overhaul included this um, overlay. And uh, <sighs> talk about stupid oh. ramblings. Come on, I want to go. I'm being treated like dog dirt. We wouldn't treat you that good. We did do this. Actually, look, this is, this was a Defender cocktail. Then it turned into a Trivia Whiz that you saw in an earlier video. 
And now it is a multi-key. The customer said, I don't like trivia. We've put in a 17-inch television we? set. We did? I had you do it. I commissioned you. We, we kept shit. the original control panels. These are the five trivia whiz buttons. We put in a leaf uh, uh, um, joystick. Uh, 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 this uh. is from Mike at Mike's Arcade. We love those joysticks. Okay, and they fit. You can't put a Waco in here because there's not enough space. So he sells this wonderful little joystick. They're cheap. They're like twenty bucks. And I have. Oh, we, we've we've used about a hundred of them. Uh, let me show you all the problems we've had. Ready? One, two, three, go. Nothing. We've never had a problem with a joystick. So, but, but look, the memory protect interlock isn't there anymore. Now, we didn't overhaul the cabinet, so I'm leaving his sticker on it. Showboat. Wasn't that, isn't that like great use of those stickers? I've got this sticker sheet. Let's put some down. Oh, that looks great. Oh, wow. Let, let's put the dice here. Did I frighten you, Walt? He walked away. Where's Wallace? Retired. Yeah, I know. Not coming back. Oh, God, he better not have retired. He He's, took his toolbox. He didn't just take his toolbox, he took everything. He's gone. He didn't chain his chair over here. Took his clock radio. His clock radio? Is the took radio his, gone? Yep, took his tools. Out of the drawer. He took the radio. Took his tools and padlock that off of his drawer. That crappy little radio. He's done. It's his. <sighs> it was his. I was going to give him a buck for it, too. Have you seen a lot? Have you seen enough? You know what we should do? We should come back to this finished. That You know what? Let's do that. Now let's go to tomorrow. There we are. On the side, sir. No, I'm putting it right there. Put it over there. No, I don't want it there. Hey, come over here. Come over here. Come closer. A little closer. You're wearing me out, Ed. But look, it's done. D O N E Z, done. Quit talking and start chalking. You ready? Mm hmm. Ramp and Alright, I'm in the horseshoe brand. You ready? That means you have to get the horseshoe. That. Okay? You have to get it past that stupid black hole. Now, there's still a lot of people that are upset that I have moved the ball. I say, this ball's here, and this is acting as the cue ball that hits the eight ball, okay? And this cue ball is what hits up here. But other people say I'm wrong. But you know, Ed, I am never wrong. That was true. They are wrong. The stick does hit the cue ball, not the eight ball. Take the right shot. Let's change it. Now spell double. Combo shops. Side pocket. That's the corner pocket, I say. Rowdy ramp. That's this one. Rowdy ramp round. 
the ramp again. Here's the ball on the ramp there. Woo-hoo! There's another. Another. It did it! This is John Norris' wonderful game. And up! A good old move. me to shoot these targets here. The only way to do that is to knock that out of the way and then hit them. Okay? And up. Oh, nice. Oh, yes, sir, it is. And you know why? Mm -hmm. It's a great. It's a wonderful machine. Great. great art on it. Not as great as you, but never as great. Pretty damn close. Good action on that. Good. I think it's ready. Let's wrap it up. Another two bowling finishes it off. That's such a great game. You know, Rob is still at home, as long with all the other employees. But he did film us an Easter Bunny sequence, reading letters. Let's see part one. Hi everybody, I'm the Easter Bunny. Today we're going to read letters to the Easter Bunny for you. I have a letter here from Nathan. How do you stay clean? Well, we're told to wash our paws every day. I also have a letter here from Haley. She says, my mommy and daddy and our family were quarantined. How about you? Well, I have to stay at home in the nest with Mrs. Easter Bunny. But we're getting a huge stimulus check because we have 4,000 dependents. And I have another letter here from Luciana. She says, we have to wear a mask if we go to the store. Do you have to wear a mask? I have to wear a mask, too. I can't see out of this thing. Oh, we sold another empty cabinet to Cameron. He came and bought the um, bomb jack. I guess about six or eight weeks ago. He drove all the way back four and a half hours to pick up a Donkey Kong empty cabinet, and he brought us a surprise. Let's see what it is. Oh, and then after that, we're going to show you the games going to England to Richard May, all crated up. Nice and neat. I can't believe this idiot guy came back. He knows I say that all the time. See, I'm touching you on the side, see? Cameron has come back to get that, the Donkey Kong, a Nintendo cabinet that he's going to build. I just wrestled up a door. Oh, God, somebody couldn't get the gold out. At least it wasn't your game, but I figured you could cut that off. We also have for him a Pac-Man bottom transformer that's ugly looking, but it, it worked. It came out of a working game and a working, now get this, this is a working, but it won't sink, Zenith television set. They put a few of these into Bally Midway put a few of these. This was in that Super Pac-Man. You remember in the Bargain Basin video we had a, a Super Pac-Man, the picture went straight now. I kept thinking it was an adjustment. It's not, it's the monitor. And since we don't, we don't retail these Zeniths, I figured maybe you can figure out it's a cap, but it does work. So you can put it in a beater. Now that is a working 13 inch, but the picture has got the jitters. We already recapped it. But I said, I'm done. I'm done. It's some funky chest. I'm exhausted loading this boy up. So I'm going to have to load him. Ed, yes, sir. can you help me load? Right away, sir. And I'm going to keep this in the meantime. Oh, I dropped this. Good. 
Alright, that I'm done exercising. So what are you doing now? I work at a Krispy Kreme. Ha! Did you happen to bring me any donuts? Ah! <laughs> oh, dozen. Mm. Ed, let's see. It's, it's just Ed and me right now. Count but, uh, ways to get fat. Okay. <gasps> Ooh, sprinkles. I'll take. Let's see. One, two. I'll take these six. Okay, and I get half of that. that that'll one. be for lunch. And then, what do you want for? Half of the other. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You are a this kind and gentle he's butthole. He's a kind Julio. gentleman. And look, and before I even knew he got the donuts, I gave him the monitor and the ta transformer. <sighs> Tit for tat. Bear trade. Sir. Let's go in and have some coffee. And there it is. Wrapped up like a cocoon in a shipping blanket. Okay. And then it's going to go next door where it shall get treated like with kids' gloves. That's right. There's Joust. Doesn't it look great, Eddie? Fantastic machine. Oh, people love my games. But they're not mine now, they're Richard's. This. <laughs> London. Anyway, by ocean. Oh, uh, try not to. This is supposed to go out in a couple of days. Uh, if, if all goes well, they will be there in early May. That's what I'm seeing on the slips. Very fearful when you do that, sir. Normally it's like an eye poke, a slap. Get that little glint in your eye. The glint in my eye? Glare. The eye poke like that? <sighs> there we go. I deserve that, you're right. It's okay. There's the other one. The Tron. Lenny? When? Is this virus going to end? When can I get my guys back? Well, no, you guys have been great. Day after tomorrow. How many of you work for free? Well, actually, no. I pay them in burgers. Burgers and fries. And fries. And Milk donuts. <laughs> but cherries. I can't find an opening. And cherries, yes. The cherries and the milkshakes. <laughs> this one's gonna be tough for me, Lenny. Ah, I'll drop it in the top. There you go. There we go. Nobody bought Tally Alley. <laughs> I'll be right there. Can you hold it for me? I'll be there next weekend. Can you come? Ah! <laughs> I hate so many people. Anyway, to make this more secure, we have the extra wood to make sure nothing happens to the joust. And uh, we're hooking all as well here. Oh yeah, she's writing, sir. Yeah. She's writing. Overseas? Yes, oh. it's overseas. Yes, it is. Good. Now, we have Rob's last sequence of Easter letters from the Easter Bunny. Hi everybody, I have another letter here from Celeste. She wants to know, will you be hiding the eggs this year, Mr. Easter Bunny? Yes, I will, Celeste. They'll have to be six feet apart for social distancing. Harper, Harper writes, what are you allowed to eat, Mr. Easter Bunny? Well, I have veggie sticks this year. I'm on a diet, and these have my salt. Caden and Elwood also write a letter saying, what I want for Christmas. Ah, oh, that's the wrong letter. Well, it's time to hide the eggs. Ah, Brother Rob. And we are now enjoying, Lenny is here, Eddie, Paulie and myself, my volunteers, 
are enjoying delicious lunch because of you folks for donating. We appreciate it. But listen, we wanted to tell you that seven-year-old Marcus, also known as Marky Boy from Michigan, is watching now. Mm. Hey, Marky Boy. And Penny, also seven, shared with us this video of her game room. Hello, Todd. I am very happy that you make videos. Gee. And this is why I am doing one for you. Because you did so much. Okay, you, you, so you start your tour. I'll show you of your game room. Our first game. And it's a pinball. See, you don't have to take the glass off to play. You don't have to take the glass off to play. Oh, oh. down the middle. Okay, let's show them your next game. And our next game will show you Bomberman, but we will not play it because it's super loud. Which is your it's Which is your favorite out of your Pachismos? Or your cheese lows. Favorite is Bummerman. Yeah. And next one that we will show is our other pinball, which is very, very hard when it comes to screen because it can glitch out easily. Well, it's because we're still working on it, right? We're still building it? Yes, we are still building and upgrading. So okay, look at the Here we go. Okay. You show them how it's done. So you press enter to go back. And yeah, that's we're still programming it. Go, and then go and do that. And you use the two buttons to go and use the flippers. Okay, this is Penny's game room. Penny signing off. What do you say? Bye. Say good night. Thanks for sharing, Penny. That's a nice little game room for Penny. Anyway, lastly, Arcade Exchange on Facebook. Here you go. We are going to be doing a live best offer sale. You have a chance of putting a best offer in. We're getting together a whole bunch of stuff that we're going to sell, and I'm sure it will be cheap. But you have to be on Facebook to be able to bid. We're going to simulcast it on YouTube, but you can't bid on the YouTube channel. But it'll be Saturday, April 18th, right here, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Make sure you're there. There it is. Thanks, Lee. I've got them right next to the coffee pot. But in the meantime, folks, have a nice Easter. Good night.